Hi all. So today we will see how bins work in Tableau. Okay. So actually bins is acting in the form of a bucket. So we, I will explain to you with an example. Okay. So suppose I am dragging out this product name. Suppose I'm having a company and I'm having all these products. Okay. And I will drag sales from measure side. Okay. So it's showing the sales of different products. I will make it, I will just swap it and make it in a descending order. Okay. So suppose I want to see the products. Suppose here there are many products, actually many products are there. So I wanted to see in a compressed mode. Okay. Here, uh, high, higher sales product is this much. Okay. Suppose this all are the higher sale product. These all are little lower sales product and very lower at the down like that. Okay. So I want to see all these products in a compressed mode. Suppose actually we use bins for that. Okay. It is useful to view the data in a compressed mode and we first we can create the bin. Okay. For that from the, we will always create bins from the measure side. Okay. I will click here, create and bins. Okay. By default, it will be, there will be a name for the bin. And size of the bin is default given. We can change the size. Suppose I am giving it as 100. Let it be 100. And minimum value, maximum value and all. By default, it's given. Okay. And I'm just clicking OK. So a bin is created in the dimension area. Okay. So again, I will choose a new sheet. And I will just drag this bin which I have created and also the product name. Okay. And I will make this as uh, count. Okay. I need to know the count of products. Now you can see that in from 0 to 100, this many count of products are there and 100 to 300, this many count. Okay. So it is easier for us to view this data in a compressed mode. So, and also there was one more option. If you want to change the size, suppose I want to make it in 200 meters, I can do it, okay? Now the bin will be like this. Actually this many, from 100 to 200, this many products are there and it is all compressed in one bucket, in the form of a bucket, okay? So, now we can see, we can say how many products are there in a particular bucket. Okay, 0 to 100, one bucket, 100 to 200, like that. Okay, it, this actually the main use is that it, it is easier to view the data in a compressed mode. So we can use bins. Okay, by doing the, like this, we'll get a better view also. Okay, again, we can control the bin size if required. For that, I will create a parameter. Okay, create a parameter. I will give the name as bin control. And here I will give integer. Okay, and I will give the range as range of values. Minimum value I will give as 100 because we have taken 100 first. So maximum I will give as 2000. Okay, and I will click OK. And bin control has a new parameter has been created. I will give show parameter control. So here we can control the size of the bins. And for, it, it is not working now, but we can do it because um, and we can do it from here. That is from sales bin. We have to pass that parameter. Okay, here size of bins is there. Here we need to pass that bin control parameter, which I have created now. Okay, and one more thing also, we can, in this bin control, we, step size is there. Step size I will give as 100. So it will move like that, okay? So okay, I will give. Then you can see it is moving 100, like 100, so that is 500, 700. That, that is 100, wise it's moving, okay? So, this is how we create bins. It is this active, this is a, uh, actually called as histograms, okay? So if, if you are creating like this, it's, it will give a better view, okay? If there is many products, means it will give a better view, 
Okay. So that's all for today's video. Thank you.